Okay, I'm going to iron a skirt. You start with the waistband. And I like to spray them. It makes it much easier. This is cotton. And I have it's water in my iron also. Pay special attention to the waistband. Press it really nicely. It'll make your skirts look a lot better. And then you turn the skirt over to what's called the tail of the skirt. And this one's lined. Sometimes you have to uh, iron the lining separate, but this one falls very nicely so I can iron the lining right along with the skirt. Spray it again. One of the uh, features, I buy a lot of used clothes, and one of the features you want to look for is that if it's a skirt or a suit, if it's lined, it's a, a better garment. It's going to hang nicer. But one of the keys is bringing things home and, of course, washing them and then pressing them real nicely. They look great. Pay extra attention also to every seam. When a seamstress are making garments, if they're a good seamstress, they iron every seam they make after they get through with it. Every section, they press it and it uh, flows better when the pieces completed. I actually enjoy ironing and when it's done it will look something like this. Can you see that? Okay. Alright. Now when I was a little girl my mom used to iron my dad's shirts and she did something I found find quite fascinating now. She would take a bowl of water and take her hands and sprinkle it. She would start in this section, the top, then she would sprinkle the sleeve with her hands with water, bring it in the other side, do that, the other side, the tail, and bring it up like this into a ball and then put it in the refrigerator. Many times there would be, you know, two or three of my dad's shirts in there. Something about the moisture and the fullness of the refrigerator made it easier to iron. Okay, on a shirt you start with the collar. You start with the small parts because the bigger parts wrinkle more, so you want to get the small parts done so you can quickly do the bigger sections and hang it up before it wrinkles. <laughs> this is linen, so it's uh, even more so that way. Then you do the cuff, the collar. In the cuff you spread it out. You don't just do it like this. You spread it out, get it nice and smooth. This is the cuff. Okay, and then I like to do the this side of the cuff first, and you want to bring your iron into this section. Okay, and back, smoothing everything as you go so you don't get wrinkles underneath. Then you flip it over to the other side. Well, I like to double check it again. Make sure I haven't put wrinkles in. Now, at this point, you might want to take your cuff and sit it how you want and put a crease in it if you like a crease in it. Okay? The next section is the back. This top here. You see that? We want to get that separately. And particularly in a man's shirt, after you've got that, then you want to take it like this. See? extra on that seam right there. Okay? And then you go to the side with the buttonholes and you put it over the ironing board like this. Okay? Start up here. You already have your sleeves now. Slowly come down. Paying extra attention to this section where the buttons go. And the more you do it, the faster you get at it. When you get to the side with the buttons, you want to go in between each button. Start like this again. Bring your iron up into the garment's top. 
extra attention to any packets as if they're isolated. Treat them as a separate piece. Then all you have left is the very back side. And you put it in this position, starting at the top. You sometimes you can move, use your hand to guide so that you don't accidentally iron creases onto your garment. And then you're on the very back side now. Bring it around this way. After I've ironed this and hung it up, if I decide to wear it in a couple days, it will still need to be what's called touched up because when garments hang in your closet, they get wrinkles. They're more like a fold, but you can tell when someone just grabbed something out of their closet and didn't iron it. Even after you take things to the dry cleaners, they have wrinkles on them from hanging. And this is a great hanger for skirts. I've tried clothes, pins, everything else, but this is just what works best. And it should look something like this when you're done.